What is up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit the like. It's like walking in a room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this reality chat. I watched Married to Medicine, this most recent episode. And I also watched Love and Marriage, Love and Marriage DC. And I wanted to talk about this thing about husbands needing to control their wives. I think sometimes when it comes to the conversations that are had, people need to be careful about the words that they choose to use, but also in these different conversations, I understand what was meant, but the words needed to be different when it comes to Love and Marriage DC, because when the couples, Arena and Jamie and Joy and Clifton were having a conversation about Ashley's behavior and how they were saying that Quick needs to control his wife. They weren't meaning in a way like he needs to take control of her and train her like she's an animal or a dog or, you know, I'm the head, you're the tail, you need to do as I say and tell you to do and and checking her and all of those different things like that. But I got their point when it came to them having a conversation or not them, but them meaning he needs to have a conversation with his wife to say, look, I'm going to be your husband and be there for you and be down for you. And even when you're wrong, I'm not going to try to embarrass you or tear you down. But in situations where you're wrong, I want to let you know what I see so that you can know that I'm acknowledging it, you can acknowledge it and hopefully make some efforts to switch that up so you're not continuously doing the same thing over and over again. And so when I saw the episode of Married to Medicine and Dr. Alicia and Toya were having a conversation, look, I want to say this, when it comes to Toya, there's nothing anybody can say to get me to dislike this woman because she's proven herself to me over the years that I really do like her. I'm not saying that she says everything perfectly and does everything that I like and all. no, that that's nobody. Like no per, there's no perfect people and there's nobody that is above reproach or above correction or does everything perfectly, says everything the right way and whatever. So of course I'm not saying that about Toya, but I didn't like her in the beginning, especially the first season, especially the first season. And then I had my thoughts about some things that she had said and done, even sometimes when I felt like how she was treating her husband. But overall, ultimately, that man loves his wife. And a lot of people would love to have a husband like that because he loves his wife. He really, really does. And he works hard for his family and his wife. And I absolutely love that. And I love the relationship that they have where they can laugh and he can take out her weave. And (laughs) like, I love that. That is actually beautiful to me. But I do feel that she gets a bad rap when it comes to a lot of the women on the show because they don't look at her as being someone that is respected. And yeah, when Anila was on the show, a lot of them may have seen her as being a bossy over her and whatever. And you know, Toya, she can be like that sometimes, but ultimately, I just feel that Dr. Alicia was doing a bit too much by saying that Eugene needs to control Toya. Control her for what? I mean, really, what, what, in terms of where she is now, because some may say over the years when it came to the spending and the lifestyle and the living and things like that, some people could say, because I even said it, that Eugene needs to do something about this because she's going to put him in the poorhouse with the way that she wants to live and renting these expensive homes and all like, yeah, I've said those things too. But now what is it that Alicia, Dr. Alicia could say to Toya to make her feel comfortable to say something like that? I just felt uncomfortable seeing that. And I did not agree with her one bit. You're not going to kiss his father anymore? Well, I am, I am satisfied with his penis. 
pause it right there leave it up to fi- <laughs> leave it up to heavenly to say something crass like that if she- oh my god you <laughs> you heard what she said but her saying she loves to please her man i just think she's just trying to do everything in her power to make sure that he doesn't step out on her so it's not about just pleasing him it's just like baby please don't go anywhere else i'll try to be everything i can for you and that is a bit much and I've been married for 25 years, so I'm just saying, like, girl, stop it. I believe that Heavenly has done everything from the front to back, from the side. You know, they look like that type of couple. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> just get a roll. Just better than any man. Well, I'm sure she has one. But don't worry. No toys. Okay, well, That rose toy is so good, it's dangerous. That's probably torn up a few homes. Ooh, child, leave the flowers in the garden. Mm-mm. He said no toys. Toya, is Kim allowing her to use toys? What do you mean by allow? Why you gonna say allow? Because he tell he trained her up. Damn it! I mean, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Well, I got a question. Why are you okay with him saying he trained you up? Oh, because I know he's joking. You think? Yeah. The fact that he said, well, train doesn't bother me at all. I'm a dentist. I'm a realtor. I'm a good wife. And I'm a good mom. I am, in fact, well trained. When they say it over more than like five, six, seven times, you see him on face. Because it's, he's joking. Really? No. The ladies want to find something to try to disrupt my good relationship. They wish they could have the marriage that I have. When I said train, I don't want me to be derogatory and be disrespectful, but subtle suggestions, and then eventually they understand what you want. But you got to do it from day one, and you got to be consistent. The same sh- every time. Where's my food? 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 Get up and leave. Get up and leave. Get up and leave. And eventually, she's like... I saw her walk through the door. She's like, baby, your food is coming. I'm telling you, she knows I'm going to ask for it. Like a pop lobbying thing. No, that's not good. <laughs> How did he get you well trained? It's our relationship. It's our marriage. It's about having respect for one another. And that, that got you well trained. You know what? Eugene needs to train your ass. He can't control her at all, whatsoever. Oh, my lovey? Yeah. Control his wife. A man should be able to temper his wife. If Eugene had a look or said something, Toya should re- receive it. Us ladies, we can't relate to control. I don't want to control my wife. Okay. Yeah. Because you can't control another human being. That's right. Yeah, so we need, right. He needs to get a collar on my ass and <laughs> shut. <laughs> So you heard that, and I'm not going to go back into Love and Marriage DC to play the clip for when the couples were having a discussion about Ashley and Quick. But Alicia, Dr. Alicia, saying what she said about Eugene needs to control Toya. Control her for what? And the the corny jokes that she was sitting there talking about 
you know, he needs to like put a collar on her, one of those where you could use a remote and shock her when she's getting out of line. Girl, like that, first of all, it wasn't even funny. And two, what has Toya done since you have been here? Let's not even go back to the past. And I'm not even saying anything that she said or done in the past warrants that comment because it is extremely disrespectful. But what has Toya said and done since she's been around to make her believe that Eugene needs to control her? That's actually pretty disgusting. And so when the other ladies were giggling or laughing, they were not laughing with Dr. Alicia. They were actually laughing at her because the joke was corny. It wasn't funny. And whenever you have to laugh at your own jokes, it's a huge sign that what you're saying is definitely not funny. Sometimes it is, but in that instance, no, not at all. And, you know, Dr. Simone checked her. She's like, you know, so a man should be able to control his wife like what are you, what are you really saying right now and i felt like that was also a deflection off of her because she was not really liking at first she was trying to make it seem like oh it's all good and i'm smiling and i'm happy in my marriage and he respects me it's our marriage like she was just saying but in all actuality because she sees that it is an issue with the group and she doesn't like looking out of place to make it seem like, oh, I've got this man that's telling me what to do and he has me trained. And then the other women in the group, they're not like that. I want to make it seem like, well, you all may not have a relationship like that, but I'm okay with being in this dominated situation. It was just uncomfortable to watch. But... No, a husband should not control his wife at any point in time. Now, in the Quick and Ashley situation, it's not about controlling Ashley. It's about giving her, uh, like, putting the mirror in front of her to say, look, this is what you're looking like. This is what's going on. This is what's happening. Like, I'm your mirror. I'm telling you what I see. Like, you don't know what you look like unless you look in the mirror and I'm your mirror. So I'm telling you, you're looking crazy right now. I'm telling you it's looking disrespectful right now. I'm telling you that you calling Clifton a sassy ass bitch was not appropriate. And you can't come in a man's face and know it's not okay for a man to come in your face, but you can't start it and then act like the, you know, the big old victim when or if that man responds. Like, you just think you can just say whatever and then the man just doesn't say anything at all and he's he's just going to walk away? Not every man is going to do that. So it's not about quick controlling Ashley. It's about him having those hard conversations with her, which Ashley seems to be one that's kind of hard to have a conversation with when you're calling her out on things that she doesn't agree with and her just taking it and saying, you know what, dear, you're right. I'm going to apologize. No, no, she's not. She's not going to take it that easily. But yeah, Quick needs to stand up and not just say, well, you know, I wasn't there. I wasn't around. This is what she said happened. So I'm just going to stand in that and I'm going to check this man. Like, no. Yeah, you listen to what your wife says, but there were other people around to say that it didn't go down that way. And no, you shouldn't have to control your wife. You should not want to control them, but you should be able to have conversations with them. And then Dr. Alicia being trained, like he said, Her husband said, Kima or Kima, however you pronounce his name, said he has trained her because he's a African Nigerian man and these westernized women, you you have to like, no, she claims she's happy in her marriage. Be that, do that. But don't try to put that off on somebody else to say, well, Eugene needs to train your ass. Seriously? Girl, please. I just did not find that funny with her talking about the dog collar and him shocking her to keep her in line, to keep her in check. Toya and Dr. Eugene are very happy and this is their relationship. If she seems to be more domineering or whatever, 
look, they're happy with it. If they like it, I love it. But don't, don't try to go there to say that Eugene needs to control her like she is an animal because it's just not going to bode well for you. And look, I can say that Toya, maybe she shouldn't have been discussing the the oral situation with Dr. Alicia asking her questions, but honestly, they all in this group, especially on these little group gatherings, couples trips, they do talk about stuff like that. So if it's a line that she crossed because she didn't know Alicia that well, I can understand that. But the response shouldn't be where your husband needs to control you. So I just wanted to talk about that, talk about the differences in the conversation on Married to Medicine versus Love and Marriage DC and Ashley supposedly, you know, not even supposedly, but people insinuating that her husband needs to control her. If people use that word or that phrase, I don't believe they mean it in the way that Dr. Kemma has trained and in my opinion is controlling his wife, Dr. Alicia. And we already know it wouldn't even be going down like that if Quick even tried that with Ashley, okay? <laughs> but I just wanted to talk about that, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for being here, liking, and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.